welcome viewers and subscribers where I was asked by my viewers and subscribers please click that bell below to get all my notifications updates throughout the day every day multiple times a day on news rumors headlines and we can have it your way um Sean Entertainment want to give my live reaction to this new WWE Network uh show bring it to the table where the issue was addressed of is raw being three hours too long well, is there more to the issue than just Raw being three hours, being it too long? But I'm going to give my reaction, and I'm going to comment and um, um, commentary, whatever you want to call it, live reaction of, of what's going on here. And I'm going to pause it and give you my initial um, opinion of, of what's going on in this uh, video here. So let's let's get do it, and uh, hopefully uh, if this gets enough comments, likes, views, and shared on Twitter and Facebook, my, my social media links are also below. And I, I want your comments on this one because uh, this was uh, a video that kind of... Uh, Went sour real quickly uh, with the responses from JBL and Paul Heyman. Some would say it was surprising. I don't know if Vince McMahon was in their ear or whatnot, but, or if this was truly their real opinion, especially coming from JBL. All right, let's just get to the video. That's about four segments, okay? So that covers that almost that entire extra hour. But second of all... Okay, yeah, the cruiserweights. Yeah, the cruiserweights, because that draws, because that's that's really something that people want to see. I understand there are some people that like the cruiserweight, but don't they already have their own show? They already have their own platform. We really don't need four segments, and it's just match after match. It's not like they're building towards something. It's not like a storyline. It's not like something back. It's just match after match after match. So that covers four segments. Yeah, four segments. Segments. I, all I'm seeing is a lot of matches and a lot of the same matches on Monday Night Raw. So there's one problem right there. So so there's there's where JBL's wrong. Well, that covers four segments. Well, I, that's great. And yeah, and, and, and the cruiserweights, like, they get a lot of time anyways, right? All right, next, next, next. The three major markets of the United States, UK, and India all run till September to December of 2019. WWE makes $173 million off television revenue during that time. By far, the most out of anything else on the balance sheet. They make about $137 million off the network. They make about $106 million off live events. The rest of it is under $50 million each. So when you have $173 million, that's the biggest driver of revenue for WWE. And you want to take out one hour. That third hour of Raw brings a huge amount of revenue and also leeway on your balance sheet. For okay, so it's all about money. And that third hour is huge. Yeah, it's huge as in the huge amount of viewership that it continually loses. Now, Raw being three hours wouldn't be an issue. And it would never have been an issue if you have creativity, you have storylines, you, you captivate, you illustrate. And you give people a reason to tune in from one hour to the next. And you keep... You know, and not writing, you know, the show as it's on or changing the script as it's on. It wouldn't be an issue. But they're just going off based the name alone. Raw, you know, they, they, you know, SmackDown only beat Raw once, one time. You know, that was a bleep on the radar. You know, it probably never happened again. Hopefully it does happen again. Uh, you know, there's a shift of direction. There's a shifting of momentum. There's you, you don't see a changing of the guard on Monday Night Raw. That third hour is huge. How is it huge when it loses viewership? The third hour of Raw is usually the hour that sees the most decline. Okay, not very much when you look at Raw ratings uh, will you see the third hour be bigger than the second or the first hour. It just does not materialize. It does not happen. Listen, I know it's hard to create, um, you know, and captivate and illustrate a three-hour show. I know that's very tough. It's very demanding. Um, you know, it's not easy to write a three-hour show, but... That's the predicament the WWE put themselves in. So they should have, you know, they, should, you know, those, and then they say, you know, too many cooks in the kitchen. They don't know what they're doing. They one hand doesn't know what the other hand's doing. So that third hour, oh, it's huge for Raw. Okay, so they, so it's, you know, a lot of money, a lot of revenue, a lot of money at stake. I understand that. I get that. But when ratings are down and people are obviously tuning out. Okay, and you can you can make the excuse of all well, this DVRs, Monday Night Football, this and that. Listen. What you know? What excuse? All oh, these dirt sheets and websites out there. Well, what was the excuse in the '90s when these dirt sheets and websites were out there? And you know, what, what was the excuse back in the Attitude Era? What was the excuse when WCW was forced in the hand of the WWE and the WWE had competition and the WWE actually had to push themselves? They had to, you know, you know, once again think outside the box. But we're going to get back to the video here. For WWE to do some incredible things, and I don't understand why people want to take Raw from three hours to two hours. 
because they say he doesn't have enough programming to fill those three hours. I completely disagree. He says, you don't give a <laughs> The internet people. No, the don't say that. no, that's true. And guess what? <laughs> the fans. Yeah, but and you represent the fans. And a lot of us. And as the representative of the fans, you just pose that question. Of course, you pose it to the SmackDown guy, then you pose it to the Raw guy, though I could not have articulated the point better than Mr. JBL, but it's your people. <laughs> well, listen. A Stop lot. No, we're addicted to the WWE. You're addicted to No, with that too. And well, moaning. Well, and complaining. It all comes together, guys. Touching. Well, guess what? I have good news for you. Coming up next. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Answer the question. Yeah, the moaning, the complaining is all valid. It's all real. It's all, it's all legitimate. I mean, it really is. I mean, Monday Night Raw has been sour. Ever, ever since it moved to three hours, It's it's been a show that has been mediocre. It has been dull. It has been rematch after rematch. The same guys, the same characters, the same... It, it's, it's just the same theme. And I, and I don't know why they're trashing on the internet fans the, the i mean we're not coming on here saying that we can write a better show but can the creative team come on here and put it and you know what we probably could not we probably could think of a better show we could probably think of better concepts and predicaments and storylines and backstage antics and stuff like that i mean at least when you know vince russo gets a lot of you know hate and criticism and whatnot but at least ratings were up when he was behind the scenes when he was you know you know in creative control all right so let's let's get more of this live reaction here this 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 is absolutely ridiculous with what JBL and Paul Heyman are saying, you know, you know the, the, to the internet. You know, you know the internet is a large portion of the WWE universe. A lot whether you're trolls, haters, skeptics, naysayers, whatever you are, whether you don't have a face or you whatever you are, they're still watching. These are people that are still watching your show and uh, you know what, if something's not working and it hasn't been working, obviously there's something wrong. Something needs to be fixed because why is SmackDown always putting on the better show? Question so why? I believe that I would enjoy Raw more if it was two hours long. Wait, he didn't ask you if you would enjoy I'm just telling you my personal opinion. I have to fast the forward too much. Yeah, we have to fast forward, fast forward too much, exactly. I do not think they should, of course, knowingly lose money. But as a I mean, if they had quality matches and storylines, three hours wouldn't be too long. Three hours would go by quick if they give you compelling, competitive TV. Why are you qualifying it? Yes or no? Because as a fan, I Yes or no? Yeah, I want to be two hours. Yeah, me too. So yeah, that's that's how that ended, viewers and subscribers. That was um a little different, but um yeah, Raw, like I said, Raw is bore. Raw is boring. It's atrocious. I mean, you know, <laughs> you didn't get that in the Attitude Era. You didn't get that in the Ruthless Aggression Era. And some of that does have to do with the fact that there was nobody. Uh, pushing the WWE. Nobody is uh, breathing down the WWE's backside. That's another reason. And um, there's a lot of reasons. But your comment, your opinion, this is my live reaction to Raw's three-hour debate on uh, bring it to the table. Your comment, your opinion, subscribe. Click that bell below uh, for your daily dose of news, rumors, and headlines. And, of course, live reactions now. If it gets over. More to come.